What's up, YouTube? I was feeling a little bit cute today, so I thought we'd do a cutie fly sweep. All right, so I went through my comment section on my channel, and I found a comment from two years ago. They've been waiting practically their whole life. Look at that. Look at their profile picture. They're, they're, they're at the brink of, like, breaking. All right, people. Now, real quick, uh, th if you are new to the channel or if you haven't heard about this, there is a join a button option there. You can actually get custom emojis and badges in the comment section next to your name. Also, you can get uh, early uploads, so you can get the videos before everyone else. It's located under the video or on my channel. If you want to do that, uh, that is uh, would be awesome. And thank you to all the people who have uh, become a member of the channel so far. Completely voluntary, but uh, if you want to check that one out, I'd uh, very much appreciate it that all right let's get into this battle so cutie fly amazing pokemon here and we're going to be doing obviously it's going to be level one as well so um i'm going to go over let, let's have a look at its ability so we've got honey gather shield dust and sweet valve da damn that's 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 what you call a heavy trio of abilities people <laughs> i think out of those shield dust is probably the best but this all the abilities are absolutely terrible so we're going to start things off with 69 legs here, and we're going to be using a speed boost variant. This is a bulky speed boost uh, variant, so we've got uh, protect on this one, obviously, and uh, we've got toxic spikes as well. That's pretty much all I wanted uh, for this Pokemon. Now, there's a couple of Pokemon in this setup, but uh, it would be good uh, to see what I'm doing. Also, um, oh, man, Cutie Fly gets a really cool move, and I'm going to be making use of that in this video. If you can guess what it is... Let's see if you can guess what it is in the comment section. Now, if you do enjoy these Pokemon tweets, people, make sure you drop a like on the video. And if you are new to the vids, um, I've got loads of awesome videos. And, uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy what you see here. All right, so I nearly get one-shotted by the Flash Cannon there. That's doing a lot of damage to me. Definitely, uh, you know, definitely a max special attack there, uh, judging on the damage. Now, I've seen it had Hydro Pump and Flash Cannon. We haven't seen a Dragon-type move yet, so I'm guessing something like Dragon Pulse or Dracor Media, that's normally what the special one runs. And obviously it's got Rain Dance as well, so it, it'd be something along those lines. So we're gonna go for a Spikes here. Spikes really wasn't important at all. I just kinda had like room to set one up, which is nice. Um, and we got the Kingdra finishing off my uh, 69 legs with the Flash Cannon. Now that's cool, it did its job. Now we got a couple other Pokemon to go before we can send in the cutie god. I mean, I mean the salty. All right, let's, let's see if you can guess, let's see if you can guess what uh, strategy I'm gonna be doing here. So we're gonna go set the Toxic Spikes up anyway, and uh, I'm gonna get hit by the Hydro Pump on my Carbink. Now Car Carbinks is uh, gonna be a skill swapping. We're gonna be giving the Kingdra Sturdy. Now Sturdy wasn't super, super important, in this uh, battle, it was kind of more important at the start of the battle, but as the battle went on, it wasn't so important. But you guys see that uh, in a while. So the ability wasn't super important uh, as the battle goes on. Maybe that'll give you an idea, but uh, I would come up with a pretty fun little strategy. Anyway, so we got the King Drago for the Flash Cannon here, and uh, that is going to finish off Car Car Binks there. We got a Safeguard up, which is pretty nice too, and uh, with the Custap Berry there. Now, I actually got, I actually would have got, I wonder if I would have outsped that if I didn't have, because I would have obviously had Swift in right. I wonder if I would have outsped that. I say I would have. All right, so the last Pokemon we got here is uh, my Precious. We're going to go for a Scumbag, a Minimize here, and getting a, um, Evasiveness uh, plus two and evasive. So we've got a hydro pump there missing, thank goodness, because that would have absolutely bodied my Smiggle. I do not have a focus sash on, it, a sash on this head. I've got a wiki berry, so yeah, I, I really need to dodge these moves fast. So flash can is going to miss there. We've got uh, we need one more minimize to max it out. First thing, I'm going to go for the block here, blocking in this Kingdra. Um, I mean, I, I, I could have gone for another minimize. I just want to block this Kingdra in and uh, see what's going to do. So it's going to go for the flash cannon, flash cannon. Oh, it's it's about a two hit KO. It could be a three hit KO if it's uh you know I get min damage. So I'm gonna go for the spore here, putting the Kingdra to sleep. So I need one more minimize, and then I'm gonna baton pass these uh, minimizers to the cutie god, and that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this strategy. I will do a full explanation of what was going on and some of the mechanics behind it and stuff. But I picked out some really cool moves for the cutie fly to have, and some some moves you probably haven't seen uh, used before, and uh, some cool mechanics as well. All right, people, enjoy the video and most importantly of them all enjoy the salt i'll see you at the end of the video
All right, people, hope you enjoyed the video. Let's go over the Cutie Fly uh, team build and strategy. So you guys got to see the Venipede, the Carbink, and the Smeargle. Now, the other Pokemon I had on my team was the Salazzle with Toxic and Corrosion. This allowed me to poison Steel types and Poison types, that kind of thing. I didn't have to use it in this case, but that was one of the other members on my team. But more importantly, let's have a look at the Cutie Fly. So after I did all the things with my Venipede, my Smeargle, and my Carbink, so Venipede set down the Toxic Spikes, Carbink skill swapped the sturdy to the opponent and Smeagle uh, passed me uh, some evasion. So at that point, I skill swapped the sturdy and I had sturdy ability, but sturdy ability wasn't actually even really handy in this. So it didn't really come into effect at all in this video at all because I was able to like evade all the moves and get my substitute up. So it was sort of there as my insurance policy whether I got hit. Uh, by a uh, like a really any move really um, if I didn't have a substitute up so looking at the uh, other move we had speed swap now what speed swap does it actually swaps the speed around and I know you never would have guessed that but it doesn't go off stat boost it goes off the actual base stat so that's how I was actually able to outspeed there and it was a really cool move and very unique now we had leftovers as the item that was going to heal up one health every turn it may not seem like a lot, but I actually had 11 health, so it wasn't too bad. Now, I also had Absorb. Absorb actually it deals 50... Obviously, it does... You get 50% of the uh, damage dealt back. So obviously, you can't do one like half, or, like half of one, so it obviously gives you one as well. So, Leftovers is healing one, Absorb is healing one, and then as a substitute, right? So... Substitute could keep going and going and going like a very, very long way with the leftovers and absorb. So that's pretty much our strategy. And obviously, I had the toxic spikes doing damage as well. And uh, yeah, that, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was really cool using Cutie Fly, a really interesting Pokemon to use. And Speed Swap's a really interesting move. Um, I'm very glad I got to use that move and make use of it. And Absorb was just like, the reason I use Absorb, you're probably wondering, had like Draining Kiss and other things. Absorb actually has 40 PP at max, so it gave me a lot of PP to use against the opponent in case I got stalled at. And of course, the PQ Muka at the end, that was really, really stalling there, so it definitely helped that I had all that uh, healing capacity too. And Substitute was there to not only block like Z moves, to uh, like 100% actually moves, was any Giratini with uh, Water Sphere there, that was hitting me every single time so if i didn't have substitute i was toast and of course it blocks some status as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this one and uh you found it funny learned something new and uh we'll be back causing some more mayhem on the festival plaza in uh no doubt any time all right see you people peace